Thank As you. promised, now uh, news for seniors coming up on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. National Senior Center Month is in full swing at Arlington Senior Centers, where the emphasis is on mental and physical fitness. Uh, two, week, two weekly boot camps for seniors begin Monday, September 19th, and on Thursday, September 22nd at Walter Reed Senior Center. Tai Chi classes and Hatha Yoga classes will also begin on Monday the 19th at Langston Brown Senior Center. Seated exercise classes will start at Arlington Mill Senior Center, currently being held at uh, Farlington Community Center. Also other exercise classes starting later in the week include Pilates, Zumba, Core and more and a variety of yoga classes. For more information about uh, these programs, these fitness programs, available at all the senior centers in Arlington, call 703-228-4745. Daniel. And Craig, the Northern Virginia Senior Olympics opens Saturday, September the 17th at 10 a.m. at the Thomas Jefferson Community Center. The public is invited to attend the opening ceremony and remain for the track events that follow. The Senior Olympics runs from September the 17th through September the 28th. It begins and ends at Thomas Jefferson or TJ. For more information and a list of events that allow on-site registration, call 703-228-4721. And we know that our own Rich Masson is going to be... I'm doing the pole You're, you're competing, yeah? I'm trying to break the 20-foot <laughs> uh, one of last year. Fred, I think are you going to be competing? It. Well, you never know. <laughs> All right, Daniel, and on Wednesday, September 21st at 6.30 in the p.m., the Agency on Aging uh, is hosting an evening seminar on long-term care insurance. The seminar is being held at the Human Services Building at Sequoia Plaza. That's at 2100 Washington Boulevard. Guest speaker will be Arthur Stein, a certified financial planner, who will explain how long-term care insurance works. This is a free presentation and there is free parking in the garage opposite the building. For more, more information, call the Office uh, of uh, Aging, Senior Office Adult Aging, uh, to register at 703-228-1700. Daniel. Yes, Craig, the annual Honor. Harambe, um, Harambe ceremony, which uh, honors African-American um, elders for contributions they have made for the community will be held on Saturday, that's September the 24th at 11.30 a.m. at the Natural Rural Electric uh, Cooperative Association building, which is actually located at 4301 Wilson Boulevard. The festivities will include live music and a celebration of the lives of the folks who are being honored. For more information, just give them a call at 703-228-0948. Craig. And finally, Daniel, Daniel, research has proven that the average American consumes two to three pounds of sugar every week, some of which comes from surprising sources. Health educator Helena Rubenstein will present a program about hidden sources of sugar and the drawbacks of too much sugar in your daily diet. That's taking place on Thursday, September 22nd at 10.15 in the morning at Walter Reed Senior Center. Also, senior adult specialist Nancy Connors will describe strategies and technologies uh, for some of these interesting programs. That's happening at Culpeper Garden Senior Center. Give them a call or check their website. And as always, thanks to Judy Misabney of the Office of Senior Adult Programs for helping us out and sending us these announcements. All right, up next, as promised, on this edition of the Arlington Weekly News, Pia Somre and her guest. Pia. You anchors and my guest today is retired United States Army ceremonial organist Fort Myers Chapel Bob Schaff. Welcome Bob. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am so happy to have you on here. Thank you for coming. Tell me a little bit about your background. Well I grew up on a farm in Kansas in the middle of the state and uh, when I was a young uh, child, I, my grandfather had left a piano to the family and I started banging on the keys when I was little. When I was in the fifth grade, I had my first teacher, who t uh, keyboard teacher, and, uh, and I took piano lessons 
And then uh, one of my teachers at school uh, asked for uh, me if I would be interested in playing the organ. And so he gave me organ lessons, and by the time I was in the eighth grade, I was playing for uh, church. That's amazing. Yeah. So you liked it ever since ever you were since. five years old? Ever since. The te wow. Uh, the teacher who started me on organ took me to Lindsborg, Kansas, to Bethany College to hear on Palm Sunday Handel's Messiah. And that convinced me right there and then what I wanted to do. Oh, my God. And tell me, and what have you done? It. Well, all kinds of things. I've done uh, uh, after uh, college, uh, after my uh, baccalaureate degrees were finished. I was drafted into the Army and uh, did uh, all kinds of things up in Alaska, uh, including I had a soldier's chorus and a band, and we performed uh, at missile sites and various military installations up there. And then after that, I came back for graduate studies t two years later at the University of Kansas, studying conducting with Robert Bauschen, who was also the music administrator of the Santa Fe Opera. And uh, and then after a, uh, two summers of doing that, I ended up in Kansas City as the as, uh, assistant conductor and course master at the Kansas City Lyric Opera. You've been, you've been <laughs> everywhere. Well, and then you were here at Fort Myers for for how long? You've just retired. Well, I began in May of 1966, and re and my retirement was June the 30th of uh, two months ago. Wow, let me shake your hand again <laughs> for you. that. Congratulations. That, that's amazing. And tell me, how many memorial services have I did done? you done? Yeah, have yeah, you done? Between 30 and 35,000. Thousand, 35,000. That's yes. amazing. That's a lot. And how about with 9-11? Oh, yeah, that was a sad time. Uh, I was sitting in my office uh, at the Memorial Chapel when the plane hit the Pentagon and, and the building shook and my desk felt like it moved. And I was in the f process of closing down the computer to go out and get into my car to go to the courthouse here in Arlington as I was on jury duty. Mm. And when I got to the courthouse, I found out what had happened. And of course, up in the jury room, you could see the damage at, and all the fire and smoke at the Pentagon. It was pretty bad. And uh, you did a lot of the memorial services. I did. Let's talk a little bit about that. I did 48 of the funeral services of the military people that were killed or their spouses in in the Pentagon. Uh, and uh, I did the funeral service for the pilot of the American Airlines plane that hit the Pentagon, Mr. Wow. Burlingame. That was pretty horrible. That that was that was yeah. pretty horrible, very horrible. And shifting gears to to happier, trying to do it gracefully. You've done how many weddings? Oh, approximately three thousand. <laughs> Only three thousand yeah. weddings. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And tell me, you've also met some fa other famous people along the way. Tell me about uh, a little bit about who you've met. Uh, I hear there's a Goldie somewhere oh, back yes. there I, in the there, past. Uh, before I came to Fort Myer, I taught a couple uh, semesters out in, at American University, the music workshop uh, program, and uh, the co-director of that uh, program was F. Cal Strickland, who was one of the earliest uh, directors of Arena Stage. And uh, in that one production, which is a musical, Goldie Hawn was was in the movie or in the in the play, and sitting at the back of the stage for for two acts was Ernie Thompson, who wrote On Golden Pond. They were all, they were students at AU in the theater department then, and Goldie was rather interesting. She was really a poor actress, and Strick changed that. He uh, went up to her and said, "Goldie," and he says, "You need to stop trying to be an actress." be yourself and when wow. that when she heard that she became herself and she became who we know her today that is a great story yeah. the pivotal yeah. point yeah. and you also have a proclamation i see the wrap-up chris zimmerman yes in your last uh, tw 20 seconds for right now we'll have to have you back on gave you a proclamation yes he did the county board uh gave me a proclamation of honor it was called and it was presented to me at the Penrose Neighborhood Association by the Penrose president, uh, Steph uh, Stephanie Pryor. 
and and she read it and it was one of those proclamations that says whereas 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 so forth and so on and it honored me for all the years at Fort Myer but also for my uh, participation uh, with the Civic Asso uh, Arlington County Civic uh, Association plus the Penrose Association. Well, uh, it was great. It was great. Congratulations again. And thank Bob, you. thank you so much for coming on the show. And, and I'm glad our mutual friends put us together. So thank you out Here there. Here we are. Here yeah. we are. And now back to the desk. Back to the desk. Thank you, Pia, and Mr. Bob Schaff, uh, ceremonial organist over at Fort Myer and other places for about 40 years. We have to have Bob back and 40 uh, years. Wow. bring his keyboard and play a little something for okay. us. Okay. Or as you could use a little music, organ music on the show. <laughs> Anything else to add before we go? What do you think? Well, I remember Ray Bohr. <laughs> he played, Ray Bohr. that's right, he played Radio City Music Hall for 60 years. 60 years, mm. that's quite a record. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, I'm getting the wrap up here, so uh, we got to go. That's about a wrap for this edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a safe week next week. Bye-bye.